I just had to let you know your mind Hands on your body, I don't wanna waste no time So today is the anniversary of my dad's death And it's kind of a hard day for me because it makes me think about, um, it makes me think about my dad and the day that I heard the news and how it happened. And it's so crazy to me because I know, like, my mom was incarcerated when it happened and I was out. And I was I was living with him, but at the time he was supposed to be in a halfway house or outpatient program. I'm not really sure. I think it was like intake actually, because he wasn't. It was like he was doing 30 days, and for a while, like for months, I was trying to get him, trying to get him into an inpatient because he was experiencing like a lot of drug use and he was stressing like really bad because my mom had to serve a lot of time and he just wasn't prepared for that because he was he was um used to my mom having things a certain type of way like he would basically he would go to work and my mom would just take care of everything like she would cook for him clean for him um, make sure he was good. She would like even take his clothes out and everything for him to get in the shower and stuff. Like it was like he basically had to do nothing. And he was used to that. So for him to have to go from that to basically doing everything for himself, he just couldn't handle it. And also lo- losing his best friend. Like my mom was no longer there. So, it was hard on him. And it was just, it was crazy to see him experience that. Like, we've been through crazy ups and downs and stuff like that. But to see someone genuinely suffering from drug use. And it's like, they, they don't they don't know how to basically cope with their feelings. And they rely on drugs to function. It's it's really, it's hard. And then, like, I experienced a lot of things personally with my mom and him. But during the time my mom was gone, like, I experienced a lot with her. Like, I mean, with him. Like it was hard. Because I knew he missed her. And he was suffering. And he just. He just didn't know how to deal. With any type of day to day things. Without her. Being involved. Like it just. Felt like a big piece of him was missing. And I was trying to do my best for him, like cooking and cleaning and, you know, riding along with him to go to his program and stuff like that. I did all those things, like even when he came home, I cooked meals for him and then would chill with him in the room and try to like watch movies with him and stuff like that. But it just didn't feel the same. Like he was always sad. It just, he, he wasn't himself. And I felt so bad because I felt hopeless. Like I couldn't do anything for him. At the same time, I was missing my mom too. Like my mom had went from being with us every day and cooking and cleaning and taking care of the house.
he was gone. So that day, I remember, I don't know, I, at the time, because it was so crazy, and he had friends and stuff coming in and out of the house, and I was dealing with the neighbor at the time who kept insisting that it was his house, and he felt like he owned it. He kept breaking the lock on the door and kept trying to, he kept coming in when I when no one would be there. It made me feel uncomfortable and unsafe to be there. So I had moved out and had started renting a room from somebody. So when he got out, I guess when he got to the house and seen the house and just been and experienced it by itself and no one was there, that it wasn't at home presence, he decided to go and use. Mind you, at the time he had, um, he was clean for 30 days, so <sighs> so he ended up using that day. And that was the last, the last day. His first day he used, he relapsed. Not only did he relapse, but he overdosed. And the fucked up part about it was he had his so-called friend with him at the time. And instead of helping him. He, I don't know if he lit, he was there and he watched my dad die, but I know that he was there and I know that he had um, took whatever money or his wallet or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. He took whatever belongings he had with him and left my dad there by himself. It's just like... It hit me hard. It hit me hard when I heard that it had happened to him. Because for one, I didn't know he was out. And I didn't want him to be by himself. And I didn't want him to feel alone. Which he ended up doing. I spent so much time with him personally. Spending time with him and... He told me of how he wanted to change and he wanted to be better when my mom got home and he wanted to be a different person and he had dreams of having a, a landscaping business and he was a fucking pro at that shit. Like, he knew the ins and outs of landscaping company. Like, he pretty much ran the company he worked for. Like, they had him training everybody that came in there because he knew the ins and outs. He would be climbing the highest trees and would cut your shit down to perfection in, in a safe manner. And he, he would, he even made our house, we lived in the ghetto, like, in, like, North Philly, like, the whole, it was a hot mess. And he turned our our backyard into a, a small miniature like garden like put flowers in it and put a tree in it and, and and made us feel like like we were good like it just it hit me it hits me hard because I've, I've seen all the struggle and demons he was facing at the time like that's why it's so hard for me like we even had times where he would give me his money and he would be like here's my card here's my money here's my jewelry here's all my stuff and no matter how many times i come into your room and i ask you for money do not give it to me I ask you for anything don't give it to me. And for me to have to watch him. 
begging for his own stuff. And I would have to constantly say no to him. It hurt me and it broke my heart. I miss him. I miss him a lot. Because he was my father figure. He didn't always say much to me. My mom always dealt with him. Whatever we needed, whatever we wanted, without hesitation, he gave it to us. And that meant everything. Because even though he didn't, like he said hi to us and stuff like that, but he didn't. He didn't fully know us, like, what we like, our colors, favorite colors, favorite food, all that stuff. It, all of that was irrelevant. He would give us the shirt off his back if we needed it. And that meant everything to us. He did that from day one. My mom first introduced him to us, and... We always be like, oh my god, I love seeing Tito because he takes us to McDonald's and we were kids and it, it just brought so much joy to us, but it was way deeper than that. Like, he didn't care that we weren't his. He treated us like we was his own. He never looked down on us, never treated us less or any different. He looked at us like we was his daughters too. And it pains me. And I feel regret that I wasn't there to stop him. To be there for him and for me to be like a happy face that he came home to. Like, that's what hit me the hardest when I heard it. Like, I couldn't believe it. Because I thought he was going to get out and I was going to be there and he wasn't going to be alone and we was going to do his plan. The plan that he had to make sure we had everything together before my mom got out. And he was, da- he was damaged from the beginning. He told me when he started using drugs when he was younger and stuff and no one really fully understood his struggle like and it broke my heart like I just felt so in tune with him and so connected with him because it just made me look at him as a person like it made me love him more like we had our moments we bumped heads we 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 fought over small shit and like that was all irrelevant to me because I loved him for who he was. He was a good person. And he meant everything to my mom and he did anything for us and loved us just the same. So I loved him just as hard. He was my mom's rock and he became mine over a short period of time. He did anything for us. And it was more than just a material shit. Like it was just. When I came out. Of DHS. And I wanted to sign myself out. Without hesitation. He opened his house to me. Staying with him. Not because my mom was already living there. It was more than just that. It was because he was the sole breadwinner for the house. He took care of everything. He paid the bills, everything. He, without hesitation, said, she's more than welcome to stay here. It was hard for me dealing with his death because of the fact that when it was told to me, it was told to me in a phone call. 
one of my mom's friends had called called my phone and I was at work and she was like I really need to talk to you this is really important and I'm sorry I have to be the one to call you and tell you this but your father passed away he was by himself in the house and that's what happened to him I was just like froze and I didn't even know like how to register shit. like I left work and I was just like numb for hours like I couldn't believe it and I felt like because I didn't see him physically and couldn't see his body I didn't believe it like I felt like I was gonna run into him in the street one day <laughs> I was just like, she's lying. Like, she's lying. I know where he's at. He's in the program. I know that he's there because he told me he was going to call me first thing when he came out. But I didn't receive no call. And he was out in the streets for two days. The first night he stayed the night at the lady that called me his phone. He um he called me. I mean, I'm sorry. He he stayed at her house with her husband and they welcomed him into the house. They want he didn't want to be at the house by himself. So he he asked a friend if he could stay in the and they welcomed him with open arms. And then that day the next day, when they thought he was going to go to work or try to get a job or something, I don't, I'm not sure what it was. He wanted to go and get a job, see if he can get his old job back. He ended up being out in the street and getting high. It just really broke me, like. All the things that went through my head, like, I felt like a disappointment. Not only to him, but to my mom, because my mom asked me to take care of him while she was gone. And I couldn't even do that. And I miss him. I miss him all the time. And I miss him even more when I'm around my mom. Because I see her. I see her suffering and stuff. And to her, that was her soulmate. And they were supposed to be together forever. And he was taken away from her. But he will always be remembered for the good person and the big heart that he had. And even though he wasn't with his family and he didn't reach out to them as much as he should, like his mom, his daughters, they meant everything to him. He talked about them all the time. Always showed me his daughters and their kids. And how he loved them and how he was proud of them. He just didn't want them to see him the way he was. He will forever live on in my heart. I think about him all the time and today just makes it hard. But he will never be forgotten.